Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums, as I, Captain Stephen X, and today, chums, I'm going to look to go and get myself a new multi-tool. Heck yes, I want a red and white one, because at the moment, I have a multi-tool that I really like. It's a little pistol. Right, I'll get the right menu in a second. Here it is. It's a white and yellow one. There you go. That's what it looks like. It does not match the rest of my fashion. I am moving to red and white, and I don't know why I went through that. I mean, you can see my exosuit is like a red and white, so I want it to all match. So here we go. I'm going to key in a code and code code, and hopefully we're going to go and grab a multi-tool from a little outpost. So here we go. Let's key in the portal code. I am needing a boatman boat face. A son of the set. I'm also needing a dragon to fly and a rocket. Lovely. I want a double, double Triforce. And I'm after a Sunday set. And that is followed up by a BTR. It's not a Spiner. Has not enough legs. We have another sunset and a Bertimund boat face two times. Followed by a Triforce. That is the code. And it's in Euclid. In the Euclid system. There we go. It's now activator mondoed. I guess we're going to be jumping into that swelling blue vortex. Brilliant. I kind of bounced off the sides. But then that didn't happen on. Righto, I should be replicating, and there I am, in style, like a fish out of water. A planet, I can it do to. And, and uh, yeah, that's not the person who actually put this up on Reddit. The person that put this code up on Reddit goes by the name of Austin Tassios. Thanking you, Austin Tassios. You are freaking awesome. Heck yes, I'm talking to you. I'm going to give you an air grab. Hutkutchkabow! With that big chunk of air, you could make an air guitar. You could strum that as much as you like. Now, because I need to hunt down the actual coordinates for this Marty Tour, I'm going to be calling in my shuttle. Because the shuttles have decent screens and decent places to see the actual planetary codes and coordinates to make that job easier. So, here we go. Here is my shield of the air. Again, you can see there it's white and yellow. I will be looking for a red and white shuttle to replace this shuttle with in a future episode. So yes, if you want to see me swap one ship for another ship, it's going to be riveting fun. Make sure you've subscribed and hit that bell. <laughs> right, well, I would be dialing in these coordinates. What I didn't see when I came through the portal was a comms ball. I now see it, so it was probably a complete waste of time me getting into a shuttle. However, when I do get closer to my destination, you should see the code appearing on the actual screen. Now make it as large as I possibly can for you, and you should be able to dial yourself into this same location. So here we go, let's just get a bit closer before I give you those important digi arts. There we are. Okay, right. Well, we've just got to come around the side of this mountain. I'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Oh, fudge! I just lost a wing. Okay, right. So here we go. I can give you that code now. And I'll make that as big as I possibly can on the screen for thee. So hopefully you can then come here, make your way here. Now, what it does say to do, jumps before you venture in and look inside the cabinet to see what tool is there. Oh, we've got a comms board. wonder if it tells you here. Pow, pow. Want to fight? Freaking ace. I love that. Right, no. You need to actually do a save and then a reload of your save. Okay, so let's head on over to this beacon over here. I should get some free navigational data for hitting this up as well. But it also acts as a save beacon. And then I can jump into my menu and do the reload of my auto save or manual save. I prefer to do a manual, but it's completely up to you what you want to do. So here we go. Important announcement time, so you really want to turn multiplayer settings off because you don't want somebody else to take your multi tool. Heck no you don't. Important announcement, over. Righto, so now it has reloaded, I should be okay to venture inside and take a peek inside of the cabinet. Let's head on in and let's see if the multi-tool that I'm after has spawn located inside of the cabinet. Right. So here is the cabinet on the side of the wall here, and yes, it looks to be there. Let's see if it is an S. Brilliant! There it is, the dreams of the dance. What a freaking awesome tool that is. And yeah, although it hasn't got as many slots as my current tool, I can upgrade it. So it's not a massive loss. I can't break down any of these modules though, which isn't that great. But I am going to do the exchange because it's going to look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing to my ensemble. And for whatever reason, I'm not facing the camera. Let's bring the camera around to face me. As you can see there, that looks freaking gnarly in hand. It really does. 
That goes well with the rest of my fashion. It's going to match my handbag. I like this. I like this a lot. It's a nice little multi-tool that disappears into nothing when I go and put it on my side hip. Hope you enjoyed that, people, in the verse. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. However, what I would say is this planet is by far one of the nicest planets I have frequented. The grass is nice and long and is very Earth-like. I got a beautiful shot, which only can be described as England in the height of summer. Yes, it's raining, but you do get a nice view and rainbows. Thank you for watching. Take care now. I want to say a massive great big thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And thank you to my backers over on Patreon and on YouTube membership. If you do want to support this channel, you could just not skip my adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. Heck, yes. There's also merch on this screen now. Awesome.